Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. For those of you who don't say I don't blink, here you go, here's a couple blinks for you. Hey, so, for those of you out there who are fans of NVIDIA, your days of waiting are over. Today, we take a look at the reference sample from our friends at NVIDIA. This is the new GTX 580. Now, a lot of you people remember that when the 480 card came out, this was actually the card that was actually slated to come out. Well, this card has now come out. This is the new GTX 580 from NVIDIA. So follow along as we show you how this card performs. We're gonna show you its specifications. We're gonna show you how much power it draws, how much it costs, and how hot it is over along. So follow along and check out this cool video of the new GTX 580. Okay, so here we go over some of the key elements of this new card. It's coming in at a street price of $500. It's gonna have 512 CUDA cores, features 64 texture units, a 772 megahertz core clock, a 1554 megahertz shader clock, and a 2008 megahertz memory clock. Also, you get with this card, it's made in the 40 nanometer process. It has a 384 bit memory interface, features 192.4 gigabytes of memory bandwidth and 1.5 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. Like usual, it features three-way SLI and all the 3D vision surround features that NVIDIA is famous for. Here we show you the front of the card and this card size is in it a lovely 10.5 inches. Once again, a lady pleaser. Remember, this is just the NVIDIA reference card. Here is also the back of the PCB, shows you all the electronic components that are on there as well as the true SLI bridges on top. Here we show the power connection, it requires 1.8 and 1.6 pin power connection, which is a lot of power, as we said before, 224 watts. Here we also show you the connection that slides into your motherboard, the lovely PCI connection. Then we're going to move along here and we're going to show you the rear I.O. of the card. The rear I.O. features two standard DVIs and one mini HDMI port. Our test system includes a motherboard by ASUS, thermal take cooling, memory and SSDs by Kingston. For a full list, look at the description. Okay, so here we show you the 3D Mark Vantage score, and then below this we'll show you the CPU ID hardware monitor, where it tells you the scores. As you can see at idle, we had a 43 Celsius. At standard, we had 74 Celsius, and a 83 Celsius is our highest point in the heat. Here we continue on and we show you the actual scores themselves from the testing. Did we get that good? So you can see from the scores that this is actually the most fastest single GPU card that's on the market today. Now, some people might quack at the price because it's $499. So it's a $500 card, but this card is strictly geared at the high end and it's $500 and it's the very high end card you can get for a single GPU card. So let's talk about heat. Now this card does run hot, but compared to the 480, it's still running a little bit cool. Now for power consumption, you can see that the card uses about 244 to 245 watts of power requirement. This is still a little bit less than the GTX 480 that was out previously. So at the end of the day, I do have to say I give a thumbs up to Nvidia. They've come out with a new card and with all the other manufacturers out there who are gonna take advantage of their own cooling solutions, their own overclocking options. At the end of the day, I give Nvidia an editor's choice because at this moment now, they have the single fastest GPU card on the market. Thumbs up Nvidia.